Good day guys, my name is Brother Spool. Welcome back again to LSTV and today's video is this is how Jana will feel. A nice reminder. Ever wondered how heaven would look like, how it would feel? Definitely all the good things. So without wasting your time guys, for those who are new, it's good to see your smiling faces. Please subscribe down below. Please like this video. Share your comments down below what you think and let's get to it. Your Janna will feel like. And when you come into Janna, the angels are, are the ones who greet you. You know when you come to the hotel in this place? Yeah. You get a serviceman, he's greeting you, yeah? Your serviceman, first serviceman inside Janna are the angels. And they say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To you and to all your family members. All of you. Don't worry, they won't have this American accent. Yeah? Just that up. <laughs> but what they will have is they will have the language of Arabic. Everyone in Jannah will automatically speak Arabic. Everyone in Jannah, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, automatically in Jannah, when you get inside, the Hadith of Bukhari, you will be like your father Adam Alayhi Salam, 60 foot tall. 60 foot tall, 7 foot wide. That's big. That's Plenty tall. Of enjoyment, brother. Plenty of enjoyment. Is if you're not big, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, that is huge, man. So they're big. But don't worry, she's going to be big as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she's not going to be meaty. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will be the size of Adam, alayhi salam. Everyone will have the voice of Dawood, alayhi salam. Because when Dawood used to sing the Psalms, Allah mm. revealed to him, he used to sing it. And he had, a, he had the most beautiful voice any human being ever had. Psalms Allah of David. Allah said in the Holy Quran, Allah said in the Holy Quran in Surah to Saad, that when he used to sing, Attaira Mahshura, the birds used to come in their hundreds, in lines, in rows, and they used to sit right around him, and they used to all sing along with him. Even Allah said, Al Jibal, the mountains would sing with him. If you heard his voice, your heart would melt. You now, some people have voices, subhanAllah, Allah, hear the best of voices. So every person of Jannah will have that voice. Every person wow. in Jannah will get the beauty of Yusuf, alayhi salam. SubhanAllah. But don't worry, there won't be any um, you know, other kind of people in Jannah. Only men, men to women and women to men, all right? There's no uh, you know, other business, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, uh, anyone thinks that they can go over there and do that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, that doesn't exist there. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> Everyone will speak Yusuf Arabic. Yusuf Alayhi was the most handsome individual. The women cut their hands, they were... Blood pouring Blood down. Blood pouring down. If you catch your then hand, if you cut wow. your hand, you know how painful it is? They cut it right from between the thumb and the, and the uh, forefinger. They cut it. There was a cut in the apple. They went straight through, through the skin, into the meat, right towards the bone. And they're still going, Woo! Uh -huh. That's you in Jannah, brother. <laughs> when you walk in, the women are going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it. And sisters, oh, my sister, I'll get to you later on, inshallah. <laughs> Who are listening? I've got a whole group of men here who are waiting very long for this talk of Jannah, so I've got to feed them a bit. So you come inside and the angels greet you, and you get this the husn of Yusuf, and the, from your heart, all that hatred is taken out. And the fourth thing Rasulullah said good. every person gets what is what? You get the character of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa Allah. So you're not going to hurt anyone in Jannah, don't worry. If you basically, you know, accidentally do something, there's no accidents in Jannah, but I'm just saying, if there is, don't worry, there's no hospital. So if you work as a doctor, you don't get no job in Jannah, don't worry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no lawyers in Jannah, there's no, there's no arguments in Jannah. So if you're a lawyer, so there's nothing. No engineers, you don't have to build Jannah, it's all built for you, right? Nothing goes wrong in Jannah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a peaceful place. You're Muslim. You do not even have anything coming out of your nose in Jannah. You know, you get a cold wow. and... <laughs> nothing. 
You got, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you got basically blow your nose out clean. No, none of that, none of that. There's no bad air in Jannah. There's no bad dust in Jannah. Jannah is perfect. The Surah Al-Dahr says that it never la yarona fiha shamsa wa la zamharira. You will never see the sun in Jannah. There's been natural light. You will never have a cold day in Jannah. There's no cold. There's no hot. You know when sometimes you feel that. You know on some days you come out and you feel wow that oh that is nice man. The wind is blowing just the right amount, and the sun is, you know, on your face just the right amount. You know that kind of day. That's every day in Jannah. Beautiful day. Every day in Jannah it never gets and it gets Beautiful better. Day. It always gets better. So you can imagine you come inside here. There's nothing. You know, there, no one will spit in Jannah. That's nice. There's some guys I can't stand them in this world when they every, every time. They, yeah, bro. We're talking. <laughs> Same. They think it's Mr. Bad Man. Yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. Why are you doing that for? I mean, come on. In the, in the Sunnah, Rasulullah said what? He said, I love this, man. This is good. If you see someone's, you know, something come out of their mouth, or uh, so their nose, you see it, you better clean it because, subhanAllah, what did Prophet Sallallahu say? He said, Allah has, is a hadith in Bukhari, he said, Allah presented to me the actions that, the best of actions and the worst of actions. From the best of actions, from, from the best of actions I saw, a man who will remove a harmful item from the pathway. That's the best of actions. From the worst of actions is, there's a bit of phlegm or there's a bit of the part from the nose, okay? Mucus inside the masjid and people see it and they don't want to, they don't want to clean it. Mm. That's from the worst of actions. So oh. no one's going to spit in Jannah. No one, there's no toilets in Jannah. Woohoo! You can go. You enjoy yourself, don't have to worry about the toilet. You can drink, you know when, you, when they drink alcohol, there's a problem of letting it all out, right? <laughs> there's no other <laughs> problem. They can, you can drink and drink. No one will go to the toilet in Jannah, and no one, and then that worried the Sahaba. The Sahaba said, Messenger of Allah, what? Yeah, you drink, you eat all of that, you know. You got the power of a hundred men to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now some people, you sit with them in this world, you think, you know, God, take it easy, man. <laughs> Before you, you got five chickens, before you take one in, he's taking four. Right? <laughs> Guy, man, take it easy. You know, there's some people like that. Now, don't worry, in Jannah, you got plenty of food. Yeah, you know, the food in Jannah is so much. Laila, so much. You can sit there all day and eat. You can eat. Now, you got the word, the Sahaba, they're worried. What's going to happen? So, Prophet said, don't worry, you just sweat. 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 But what the sweat is, Rasulullah said, your sweat will smell of musk. Ooh. So when you sweat, it's really nice because you got nice new perfume on yourself. Yes, please. So thank she's you. even yes. dying to come closer to you because you sweat. Yes, please. Thank you. You sweat inside Jannah. In Jannah, you have your labina to min dhahab, labina to min fiddha. You have certain houses made of pure gold. The certain places of Jannah made of pure gold. Certain places made of pure pure silver, certain places pure diamonds, pure rubies, and certain places Allah mixes them up. One brick is gold, one brick silver, one wow. brick emerald, one brick diamond, one brick sapphire, one brick something else. Each one is different. The door of one of the, I'm telling you from various hadith now, okay, the door of one of the palaces that you've got in Jannah is so big, it's from the earth here to our sky. <coughs> and you walk inside. When you walk inside, you've got one, one room, room that leads to another room that leads to another room that leads to another room, and each one, so the, the, you can imagine the size of these. Each room has got 70 tables of food. Each table has got 70 variety, 70 different plates of food. Each plate has got certain dishes, and each time they take a fruit, you know what will happen? They take a fruit. Another one comes up. And you know, you get, sometimes you get a bit spoiled, right? People of Jannah, they get to be spoiled. They eat one fruit and they say, okay, thanks, I've stated them. They give them a fruit and it looks exactly the same. They say, hey, hey, it's to the servant. You can have loads of servants, loads of servants. Really nice looking good young servants, all right? But you can't do anything with them, you know what I mean? Yes, to those, to those people, all right? You got... <laughs> they will serve you. Allah said, Gilman, Gilman, the young boys that will serve you, right? And... <laughs> They will serve you and they will give you dish after dish. The one giving you one, the next one gives you another one. They're your servants in Jannah. You tell them whatever to do, they'll do it. And they give you one fruit that is similar to another fruit. They're given the same fruit. 
I said, hey, listen, what are you, what are you giving the same fruit? I'm just tasting this one, give me another one. I said, no, 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 taste it. <laughs> when they tasted, the same fruit tasted different. The same fruit tastes different. And some fruits, you taste them, each bite you taste, they're always different. Each bite you have is different. So you eat. Allah says what? لَحْمِ طَيْرٍ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ in a hadith of Tirmidhi, a person sees in Jannah, he's sitting down, he's lying down, and he sees a nice bird flying over. He's a real bird, right? not that other bird, right? <laughs> the real bird. <laughs> flying over. So he sees and he wishes that he could have, you know, he remembers in the world, he used to love chicken and chips, right? You know chicken and chips? I love it. I'm not saying the hadith says chicken and chips, right? But I'm just saying like, you probably want that roasted, right in front of me, grilled, barbecued, whatever, yeah? So he wants that. He just has his desire and that bird from the air drops right in front of him roasted come on ready barbecued grilled and he just bunches it throws the bones away and when he throws the bones away that bones become another bird the same bird and it flies away no ways i can imagine some of you just looking back and get right, get back here <laughs> where are you going he was too nice get back here in Jannah, they, they have, according to Hadith of Tirmidhi, you have marketplaces. And these marketplaces, when they go there, the marketplaces have designer faces. Mm. You don't have no plastic surgery in Jannah, brother, sister, cosmetic, this, that. You go, you have these designer faces. These are real people inside Jannah who've got beautiful faces. And they're all in different places of the market. And you just look at them. You just desire that your face looks like that and your face changes. <coughs> your face changes. But you might get worried now, right? When I go back to my wives, they're not going <laughs> to recognize me. <laughs> they go come back home and their wives come running out to them. And they say, you look even more beautiful than what you went with the face you went with. You look even more beautiful. Mm. They will have 70 pieces of clothes on them. That's hard. Thin pieces, fabrics on them. Each one is a very delicate fabric on the, on the hawra'i. The hawra. 70. And through the 70, according to hadith of Muslim, through the 70 of these beautiful fabrics on her, he sees the love she has for him pumping in her marrow bone. Forget the heart, it's in her marrow bone. Allah has created her to see nothing more than just you. Me, you. <laughs> wow. Because you, Allah will make her be... In fact, right now, you know you're in, you're, you're in this, uh, this world right now. You know the hadith says, Prophet said, you know, when a, when a person's wife says th things to him, bad things, are oh, you this, you that, you never tidy up, you do our, you know, you get it from your wife. Yes, guys, nod your heads. Say yes. Or is he only my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she's a good person. Yeah, she's a good person. Okay? She'll be listening to this one day, you know what I'm saying? She'll be getting me back at this. But I say this to, me, to her home as well. She says bad things. One of, she, one of your wives said, you know, Rasulullah said, he says, your hurain in Jannah are saying, Are you? Are you? Stop saying that. He's our husband as well. Our husband as well. He's in a hadith. So sometimes I tease my wife and I tell her this. I say, listen, hey, listen, take it easy, take it easy. My wife's in Jannah saying something. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's in Jannah not liking it. They're not liking it. Don't say that. And she starts laughing. Right? Just to make her laugh. Yeah, I really wind her up sometimes. I just make her laugh because when she gets mad at me, I just wind her up. So, you know, the, the, the women, okay, they're probably thinking, subhanAllah, what are they going to get? Mm. They are going to become the most beautiful out of all your wives in Jannah. I didn't hear subhanAllah from you guys. Wow, man. Just listening, just listening to this is just... It's like mind therapy, you know? I think this is something people should listen to when they fall asleep, you know. I think you're gonna have nice dreams when you listen to this kind of reminder. It's a beautiful reminder, it's amazing. Wow, man, I'll leave the link of the video down below. You guys can go check it out. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Amazing. He said something that 
people who pe everyone will speak Arabic. Can you guys answer on the comment section down below? Why is that? I would love to know more about that. Please let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe, please. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.